Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's one way you can keep me going, inspired and fresh. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also please don't forget to subscribe. Level 54, determine the moment of inertia, IGX and IGY of the area shown with respect to the centroidal axis, respectively parallel and perpendicular to side AB. Sorry, is the given figure for our solution. Let's call this area 1, the upper part, and area 2, the lower part, the location of the centroid as shown. So area equals area 1 plus area 2. Area 1 is 180 by 40, area 2 is 60 by 80. So let's divide it into that part. So area 1 is 180 times 40, and that is 7,200 mm square. Area 2 is 60 by 80, and that is equal to 4,800 mm square. Therefore, the total area is 7,200 plus 4,800, so 12,000 mm square. So our reference would be the top. So this is the location of, uh, by the way, this distance is half of 40, so 20 mm. And the distance of G2 from the top is half of 80, 40 plus 40, 80 mm as indicated. So the centroid of the entire area would be somewhere here. And it is on the axis of symmetry. So the centroidal y-axis is has no problem. It is there. So in, in short, that axis, moment of inertia with respect to that axis, is also the centroidal uh, IGY or IY or IGY axis. So let's call that distance YG. Let's solve for YG by Varignon's theorem. 12,000 times YG equals... 7,200 times 20 plus 4,800 times 80 mm. Our reference is the top. So YG is equal to 44 mm. So if YG is 44, therefore the distance between G1 and G is 44 minus 20, so 24 mm as shown. And the distance between G2 and G, we need that in transferring the moment of inertia from the centroid to the centroid of the entire area is 80 minus 44 and that is 36 mm as indicated. So IGX, moment of inertia with respect to this axis here is IG of area 1, IGX of area 1, which is base height cube over 12 plus area 1 distance square, which is 24 square. So IGX equals 180 times 40 cube over 12 plus area 1, 7,200 times 24 square. So moment of inertia of this area 1 with respect to the centroidal x-axis is base height cube over 12. You should know that or remember that. Plus area 7,200 times distance between the axis through G1 and the axis through G horizontal, and that's 24. Then plus moment inertia of this rectangle here with respect to the centroid here is 60, 80 cube over 12. The area is 4,800 and the distance is 36 square, so 36 square. So moment of inertia with respect to the centroidal x-axis is 60, 80 cube over 12 for this area 2 here. And the distance between the centroidal x-axis, its local centroidal axis, and the centroidal axis of the entire area is this distance of 36 square. Combining, it is equal to 13.89 times 10 to the 6 mm to the 4th. Likewise, to check that answer, to validate that answer, we imagine that the areas are divided into two areas, this or three areas. However, the wing areas are identical. So take note that moment of inertia with respect to axis AB 
is moving to Brunesha with respect to the base of a rectangle. So we have this rectangle here. The base is 60, the height is 120. So 60, 120 cube over 3. So IAB is IGX plus area YG square. We need that. Then IAB is for this rectangle here is 60, 120 cube over 3 with respect to the base, remember. Plus 2 times moment inertia of this swing rectangle, which is base 60, height 40, so 60, 40 cube over 3, then times 2 because it is also the same as this with respect to AB. So 2 times 60, 40 cube over 3. Then equals IGX plus area 12,000 and YG 44 quantity square. So IGX plus area 12,000 times 44 square because we transfer the moment of inertia from centroidal G axis which is unknown to that. So solving for IGX it should be equal to 13.89 times 10 to the 6 to check the answer. Likewise, IGY, which is this axis here, so there's nothing to worry about. It is just moment of inertia of rectangle with respect to the centroid. So over 12, this centroid here, uh, this centroidal axis here. So it is 180 cube times 40 over 12 plus 60 cube, 80 over 12. So 180 cube times 40 over 12 plus 60 cube, 80 over 12. So that is IGY because the centroidal y axis happens to pass through G and the centroids of the individual areas also lie on that axis. So we just use this. IGY therefore is equal to 20.88 times 10 to the 6 mm to the 4th. Level 55, determine the moments of inertia of the Z section about its centroidal XO and YO axis. So here is the given figure. Let's For our solution, let's divide the area into the following manner shown. So this area is identical to this and because the Z section is symmetric with respect to both the XO and Y axis, YO axis, so there is nothing to worry about. This is 100 by 20, so 2000 the area, mm square. Same is true with this and the centroid is here. Same is true with the centroid here, same distance from YO and XO axis. So vertically, uh, 140 minus 20 is 120. The height of this middle rectangle is 120 and the width is 20. So half of 120 is 60 mm. So 60 mm plus 10 mm, half of 20. So this is 70 mm. Likewise, the centroid from the right edge here is 50 mm, then minus 10 mm, half of 20. So 50 minus 10, so that distance of the centroid from y axis is 40 mm as, it, as labeled or indicated in the figure. So moment of inertia with respect to XO is moment of inertia of this rectangle with respect to the centroidal XO axis. Each centroid is also coincident with the XO axis. So it is just 20. The height is 120, remember? So 120 cube over 12. Then plus two times moment of inertia of this rectangle with respect to the centroid. 2 times quantity 100 times 20 cube over 12 plus area 2000 times distance square distance between that axis there and this XO axis here which is 70. 
quantity square. So I x o equals 20 times 120 cube over 12 for this middle rectangle with respect to the centroid because its centroidal axis coincides with x o axis. So that's end plus two times moment inertia of this rectangle because it is identical with this rectangle here. Two times 100 times 20 cube over 12 plus area 2000 distance 70 square. So the moment of inertia of centroidal moment of inertia of this rectangle is transferred to XO axis. They are parallel and we multiply it by 2 because of this rectangle identical with that. So moment of inertia with respect to the centroidal axis of the rectangle is base 100 height 20 cube over 12. And let's transfer it here. So plus area which is 2000 and distance between that centroidal axis and this XO axis is 70. So that's the parallel axis theorem or the transfer moment of inertia formula. For this middle rectangle, there's no need because its centroidal axis coincides with XO. So it's just base 20 height 120 cube over 12. So IXO is equal to 22.61 times 10 to the 6 mm to the 4th. Likewise, for IYO, so the middle rectangles, its centroidal axis coincides with YO axis, so it is just 20 cube 120 over 12. Then plus 2 times, so centroidal, this centroidal moment of inertia is 100 cube 20 over 12 so 2 times quantity 100 cube 20 over 12 plus area which is 2000 and the distance between its centroidal centroidal axis and the centroidal axis of the entire section is 40 so plus 2 times 100 cube 20 over 12 plus 2000 times 40 square so IYO is equal to 9.813 times 10 to the 6 mm to the 4th. Level 56, find IGX and IGY for the shaded region shown. So moment of inertia of areas of area with respect to the centroidal X and Y axis. So because the area is not symmetric with respect to the X axis, let's locate the centroid and let's base the location from the bottom from the x-axis so let's divide the area into three parts so for our solution this is area one which is 180 by 40 that's the centroid of the entire area and call that yg we need only yg because the areas are symmetric with respect to the y-axis so area is 180 by 40 for area 1, 7,200, 20 times 140, 2,800 for this middle area. And for the bottom area, it is 100 times 40, so 4,000. So this is the centroid of area 1, and the distance from the bottom is 40 plus 140, 180, plus half of 40, 200 as indicated. 200 mm for the middle rectangle 40 plus half of 140 70 so 110 that's 110 mm then of course for this part half of 40 20 mm so by computing the total area area is 7200 plus 2800 plus 4000 so total area is 14000 mm square Varignan's theorem, 14,000 times YG is equal to 7,200 times 200 plus 2,800 times 110 plus 4,000 times 20. So YG, therefore, is equal to 130.571 mm. 
So we can now compute IGX, moment inertia with respect to this centroidal axis here. Let's transfer all air moments of inertia with respect to the centroid of areas, the three areas, to this axis. So this distance is 200 minus YG, 200 minus 130.571. So for moment inertia of area 1 transferred to G axis here, so it is 180, 40 cube over 12. So IGX is 180 times 40 cube over 12 plus area 7,200 plus 7,200. Then the square of this distance, this is the centroidal x-axis of area 1, which is parallel to this axis here. So let's transfer it here. So plus 7,200 times quantity 200 minus YG 130.571 quantity square plus for this moment of inertia of this middle uh, rectangle 20 times 140 cube over 12 plus 2800 times yg minus 110 so this distance is yg minus 110 quantity square so take note that even if it is 110 minus yg because it is squared it doesn't matter this is always positive plus 100 times 40 cube over 12 plus area 4000 quantity yg minus 20 yg minus 20 quantity square so this distance this distance here is yg minus 20 this distance between g and the centroid of the third rectangular section. So expressing the answer to 10 to the 6, so the first is 35.667, the second value this one 5.7582, and the third 49.47, quantity times 10 to the 6 mm to the fourth, then combining IGX is equal to 90.86 times 10 to the 6 mm to the fourth. Why is the answer reported in that manner? It's because uh, the moment of inertia is usually expressed in scientific notation times 10 to the 6. But you can make the answer 9.086 times 10 to the 7 if you want. Let's just have that as our final answer. IGY, on the other hand, is no problem because all centroids of these three sections coincide with that y-axis. So IGY is actually IY also. And it is just ba base cube height over 12. So 180 times 40 cube over 12 for this rectangle here. Then plus 20. 140 cube over 12 20 cube 140 over 12 brother then plus 100 cube 40 over 12 so combining IGY is equal to 22.87 times 10 to the 6 mm to the 4 Level 57, find the moment of inertia of the beam's cross-sectional area about the centroidal A, X prime axis, then letter B about the X axis, that's, it's not the centroid, and C, centroidal Y axis. So centroidal X prime axis, this is the centroidal axis through C, then with respect to the X axis, not the centroid, then centroidal y-axis. The y-axis is also the centroidal y-axis from the figure. For our solution, uh, area 1 here is 6 by 2, so 12. Then these two are identical. The area is 1 by 4, so 4. And let's call that, that is barred y or yg in our expression. So this is 4. This is also 4. So the area is 12 plus 2 times 4. This is the centroid of area 1, and this 
let's consider the upper base as the reference as indicated here so that's one inch also and the centroid of area 2 which is this similar to that is half of 4 2 plus 2 so 4 inches from the x-axis as indicated so area uh, this distance by the way is 1 plus half of 1 so 1.5 inches same is true with that 1.5 inches so area is 12 plus 2 times 4 so 20 square inches and by Varignon's theorem, 20 times yg equals 12 times 1 plus 2 times quantity 4 times 4. Distance is 4. So yg is equal to 2.2 inches. Let's now compute ix prime. Let's tran transfer the moment of inertia, centroidal moment of inertia with section to x prime axis. And that is moment of inertia with respect to centroidal x axis plus area distance square this distance which is yg 2.2 minus 1 then squared it so for area 1 it is 6 times 2 cube over 12 plus area 12 times quantity 2.2 minus 1 square so that's for m moment of inertia with respect to the centroidal x prime axis after we transfer it plus two times moment inertia of this rectangle with respect to the centroid here is one four cube over twelve so times two one four cube over twelve plus area which is four then distance between this centroid and that x prime axis is equal to 4 minus yg 2.2 quantity square so area quantity 4 minus 2.2 quantity square then times 2 because we have two identical areas combining ix prime equals 57.87 inches to the fourth then about the x-axis so we have for area 1 it is just moment of inertia with respect to the base so it is 6 times 2 cube over 3 but for these two areas we have to transfer it it is 1 2 times quantity bh cube over 12 so 1 4 cube over 12 plus area 4 distance 4 also so ix is 6 times 2 cube over 3 for moment of inertia of this rectangle with respect to the x-axis bh cube over 3 plus 2 times quantity 1 times 4 cube over 12 plus 4 distance is 4 also distance of the centroidal axis x axis of this area to the x axis is 4 4 square so ix is equal to 154.7 inches to the fourth uh, the other way of computing ix prime is we have ix equals ix prime plus area of the entire region distance square which is yg square so let's compute for ix prime let's transfer it to x axis so ix equals ix prime plus area yg square ix is 154.7 ix prime solved in another way uh, by the way ix in another way is ix prime plus area yg square and ix prime is 57.87 and area is 20 then yg is 2.2 so ix is 154.7 what I mean earlier is if it is ix prime that is to be solved, then it is vice versa. 154.7 equals ix prime, assuming this is unknown, plus 20 times 2.2 square. So we will also get ix prime 57.87 inches to the fourth. Finally, for iy, centroidal y axis, this is igy, which is also iy. 
for area 1 it is automatic because the centroid coincides with the y axis also so it is just 6 cubed times 2 over 12 but for this 2 we need to transfer 1 cube times 4 over 12 so 2 times quantity moment inertia with respect to the y-axis of this area centroidal y-axis is 1 cube 4 over 12 plus area 4 times distance 1.5 square then multiply everything by 2 because we have two identical rectangles so iy equals for the for section 1 it is 6 cube times 2 over 12 for section 2 2 times quantity 1 cube 4 over 12 plus area 4 distance 1.5 square so computing iy is equal to 54.67 inches to the fourth so that's it for this problem i hope that uh, when so many examples will be presented you can master computing moment of inertia of composite areas with respect to centroidal axis by applying the parallel axis theorem or the transfer formula for moment of inertia of areas